Hello, welcome to this presentation. Using this picket fence model here you're seeing on the screen, we are going to briefly generate plan view and elevations. Welcome once again to this presentation. We'll go straight, but prior to doing all that, take a walk around the model by going to view, navigate, rotate with mouse. We want to rotate about that spot. We want to rotate about this spot and turn this round. Turn this round like this. Perfect. Now we'll go straight to we'll go straight to drawing and reports. Under drawing and reports, we'll come to create drawings. Click that down arrow. Then come straight to GA drawing and click that. Under this, general drawing properties, come to view, click plan view, and click generate straight, then close that. Then what you do next, go to drawing list, click on drawing list. We had done, the, I had done this previously, so I'm just making a brief explanation how to create plan view and uh, elevation from a model of that kind. I'll click on the first one, though they're the same and minimize this just wait minimize that you'll have this plan of that picket fence now from here from this plan you'll be, you you will be able to generate elevation of elevations from this view camera and this that and the other end this is our gate here. This is our main entry. Now, on this plan view, we are not able to see the plan of the pickets. Reason being, we've not adjusted the depth of this view plan. Now, to adjust that, just double click on this. This dialog box will come up. Now from this dialog box, you'll be able to change the scale to your preference. Then the depth down for you to be able to see the pickets plan view, you'll have to adjust this maybe to four meters and four meters down. Then come here and click modify. apply and accept now if you zoom closer you'll be able to see the, the, the top view of the pickets perfect now from here we want to create an elevation from this end and probably on this end but the measurements are the same now we we'll just create one just to show you how this is done briefly now I'll come to view come to view sections I'll come right here go all the way to that end and cover the part I want to view, I want to view this picket fence on this side. I'll cut slightly on the gate. The gate is here. These two, on this, on my keyboard, you can see two triangles. Those are cameras. I want to face on this side. I'll click on that side. Now this is one side of my picket fence. I'll click on that frame and press my left button on the 
the mouse and drag it down. On here, I can adjust the scale to make this drawing much bigger. To do that, just double click on the frame and come here and bring this scale down to 100 and click modify, apply and accept. This is it. Click on this and drag. Now in here, you can give some dimensions that you think might be required for for the for your client or anybody else you're doing this drawing for. Now I'll come to dimensions. I'll click this. I want to get this dimension from here to there to that spot to that spot. Just continue. Just click right on that spot. I'll do this once again. I'll click on that spot. Snap there. I'll snap right there. Make sure you snap on the right spot. Right there. Zoom and click on the next one. Just go on. Just go on to the very last. That. Come here and click here. Go all the way to that end. Go all the way to this end. Come all the way to this end. Zoom till you get to the very last column. Snap there. Snap here. Come all the way and snap here. This is the very last. Snap right there and go back to your first spot. Then snap here. Right click to interrupt that dimensioning command. Then click on this and drag it down like this. Double click on the dimension. This, this dimension properties dialog box will come up. And from this you will be able to modify all this to your preference. I'll come to preference, uh, appearance and change the color. I'll change the font size to 2 and uh, I'll change the font type here by clicking on that button. I'll scroll down to Arial, scroll down to Arial, right there, I want regular, I'll click OK. I'll change that color to black and that's all I'll go ahead and click modify this was supposed to be 2 not 20 click modify apply and accept this is it now from here I'll be able to get the height of the column I'll come to dimensioning vertical dimension right from the footing to the very top end here and I'll come back to my initial point click that click on the dimension and drag it aside get the thickness of the coping come there snap there and snap right there and come back to your initial spot click on this and drag this to link it up with the other one Perfect. This is what I wanted to show you briefly on how to create 
the plan view which is this one and the, the elevation which is this perfect and uh, on the on the dimensions of, of the pickets that one we can now do by yourself once you've seen me doing this now we can go back to to plan view plan view you can do the same thing by getting the dimensions from just the way the way I did it uh, on the on the on the elevation and you can do the same thing here and get all the dimensions for the plan view I think that's enough and uh, if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe I'm Morris Dimba let's meet on the next presentation and bye bye